Hello, we're just going to do a little video, show you where everything is inside the van and how things work, roughly. Now we're inside the van, just inside the habitation door, over the door. We have a wee control panel up here on the right hand side. This centre button's an on off switch. Um, main on off switch, little green light over you telling you it's on and the water pump is turned on here. You have a switch there for your outside lights, you can see it lights up there outside of the camper here as well um, button on the right hand side brings up your gauges tells you if your leisure battery is full your water tanks about half full your waste tanks empty and your start battery sitting about 12 volts and you have a main switch here for all the lights inside the van now we can see this little red light here is telling us it's using the leisure battery if I push the centre of this vehicle battery can see that change is over so if you want to charge the battery if you plug in your mains lead you can select which battery you want to charge so that'll charge the vehicle battery if we come back here and push the center of this it changes back it should normally be on this battery on the leisure battery it's only for charging now beside it here we have our heater controls the main on off switch here on the left hand side so that's on for us at the minute if you want to heat the van just push this button here brings up the temperature and you use your up and down buttons to select your temperature say we want it 18 degrees we just push set so that's the temperature set inside the van now 18 degrees the next button um sorry we go to the very right hand button now is your shower your water heating so if we push that, you have two options. You have water off, or you have water 60 degrees. So you use your arrows, up and down arrows, for whichever you want. If you want hot water, or you don't, only want to heat the van. And just push the little set button in the center to tell us what you want. Um, the center button here brings up our power source. Now we use the up and down buttons again. So you can select, you can see you have a 230 volt mains power, 4 amp, 8 amp, gas powered, what's on at the minute. And you have a mix of electric, 4 amp and gas, or electric, 8 amp and gas. You select what you want and just push the set button to select it. So this heating's on 18 degrees. I'll just turn on the water here, you'll see it. And um, we have our water on at 60 degrees, heat's on at 80 to 18 degrees, and it's running on gas. So as you heat, I'll just turn all these off now. So I'll push the wrong button. And just hold in this button here to switch it off. That's it, powered off. Now your fridge. We have a three-way fridge down here. Um, the button on the left-hand side is your on-off button. Now we can see we've mains power, gas, and 12 volt. The reason it's beeping is um, the engine's not running. Um, we can hear it clicking there to light the gas. Right. And just check the gas is turned on. Um, I'll check the gas is turned on. We'll try that again. And we have an automatic selection here. If you use automatic, it'll automatically select the power source that's best suited. On this side, we have our temperature control. Just push this and it'll light up an extra one of these bars that's up full cold at the minute. If there's a fault or something happens um, with, the, with the fridge, just push this button here and it resets us. Um, now, your heater itself is down in this very back corner here. Just left these cushions off to see it better. Um, that's your heater and we see that little yellow valve down on the floor there is a drain valve for the heater if we lift that lever 
is pointing straight up it drains all the water out of the heater so what you'd want to do is turn off your turn off the water pump above the control panel and just lift that lever up let all the water drain out of the heater during the winter and um, you'll have to do that yourself it's not automatic on, on these ones this all makes up into a bed as well if we pull this down here this will slide out I'll make this up I'll show it this will slide all the way forward and the cushions will pull in and um, I'll make that up for you now that's your bed made up there and just pull this these timber lats all the way forward and just slide out the there are the two base cushions and the back cushions just drop in behind them make up a whole bed your TV is an aerial in the wardrobe it's an adjustable aerial um, if we loosen this thumb screw here the aerial will raise up and down and we can turn it watch the little orange slice should go green colour and just tighten that up the TV now just a top button on the left and power on the TV and there we have it to retune the TV if we push this second button down menu button brings up that page just using the arrows come down to channel and come across use the right hand arrow and go back use the right hand arrow and come down to auto search and we'll just push enter and auto search push the center button and that will retune the TV for you uh, now your fridge is running on gas here now just the gas wasn't up to it fully if you hold in this button for a couple of seconds power it off your cooker standard gas cooker if we turn on one of the rings here there's a sparker button on the right hand side just hold in the gas ring that's it lit once it's lit you can let go of the sparker button and after a couple of seconds we can let go of the gas valve you can turn it down up to full and all the way up for off and um, that's your fuses and trip switches are underneath the wardrobe opposite the cooker if your trip switches on the top your fuses all your 12 volt fuses are down the bottom here and your main switches for your charger um, and the heater if you wanted them off for any particular reason but generally we just leave them on all the time now your leisure battery is underneath the back seat on the driver's side it's underneath that cover there a little box is a solar panel controller regulator for the solar panel and there's a main fuse back there for the battery main battery fuse that's your heater again now to drain your fresh water tank this hatch underneath the floor i have the hatch off there and i just screwed off the lid of the tank and we can see the little red um bung in the bottom of the tank if you want to empty the tank just reach in and pull that bung out of the tank and that lid just screws back that lid just screws back onto place this wee cover just sits on on top there i think that's all inside the van now we'll just go around outside now when we come outside we vents for the back of our fridge and here we have a barbecue point and um, basically we barbecue thing will be in the it'll be in the cutlery drawer inside just pushes in and turns to switch on and off the gas that's your water filler there and um, just underneath here we have our storage and our carpets with two handles here a handle for the awning and a handle for lowering the bike rack now your bike rack um, the handle for the bike rack will hook on here and if we unclamp unclamp this 
and wind the handle the whole bike rack and lower down you'll be able to put your bikes onto it and then wind the handle to rise it up lift it up out of the way um, on the driver's side then we've the exhaust for the heater and we come up with our mains plug-in point just over the back wheel we've our gas in front of that the gas is um, just turn up and down the top of the bottle to switch it on and off we turn that down clockwise it's gas off just turn it up to switch it on when you turn on your gas you have two wee valves safety valves once your gas is on at the bottle push this button down for two or three seconds and then in the regulator you have a little green button in the regulator just push that in for a couple of seconds and your gas should be into the van then we span it down for changing the bottle a toilet cassette your toilet works off a separate water system it has its own water filler if we pull out this little neck here and screw off the lid of it and um, you fill that that's your flush water your water for flushing the toilet and we can see the wee gauge on the side here the little glass tube is telling you how much is in it your cassette and um, wherever it goes is here in front of us if we lift up that green lever underneath us all the cassette will slide out and I'll just turn out this neck on us here screw that off that's a wee measuring cap for your chemical and it's your empty point as well um, so to empty screw off that lid just pour it down wherever suitable place for emptying your chemical waste and on the back of it you have this little green button it's just an air vent if you hold that down as you're pouring it just lets everything flow out just pull it back in just lift it up in just push it all the way in it clicks into place push in that neck out of the way now in front of the or just behind the driver's door we have a uh, grey water waste um, of your sinks and showers just turn that we tap to open and closed um, now your bonus pull is on the passenger side here your jack and wheel brace are underneath the passenger seat in there if we take just pull this cover up it'll come out of place just open that little lever there and it'll slide out the jack and wheel brace are in there there's your bonnet pull uh, inside the passenger door now under your bonnet in front of the driver you have your screen wash that little blue cap towards the back power steering coolant brake fluid your dipstick is just down the front here, that little red um, stick there. That's your oil filler. If ever you have to jump start this van, the battery's inside um, underneath the floor to passenger feet. If we open this here, that's your positive jump lead, your red jump lead will go on there. And just beside the headlight in the passenger side, this little stub here is for your air to your black lead. So that should be everything.